Hey everybody, and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. Uh, in the second episode of the tutorial series, I want to go ahead and describe the spreadsheet functions of Jamovi. Uh, and uh, I, I want to make a mention here that uh, of this second episode, I'm recording it now after uh, Jamovi has released version 1.6. Now, I do want to make a mention that my previous video uh, with one2 2 is still a viable version of the software especially on Mac and and as well as as uh, a PC and Windows uh they they have that they they call that their most more stable version but you know if you want all the latest features and of course with a tutorial series like this I do want all the latest features uh get yourself 1.6 and uh, it's 1.6.3 at the moment. I'm sure that will ha have a few more iterations before uh, we move on to another 1. or 2.0 version. So, like I said, today I want to go ahead and talk about the spreadsheet functions here. So, I'm going to go ahead and open a data file that, of course, we can mess around with and play with here. Here we have the data file. Uh, in order to get to the spreadsheet editing, you click on data and you have all of these features. You have paste, cut, and copy, right? So here I have data open, but if I wanted to, I could take this set here and uh, clip it, or excuse me, copy it, and uh, go over here and click paste and uh, now it's twos. See, that's the interesting thing is that um, this doesn't have the label. Only MP here as a label is actually has a two in there as the um, is as the value. But I could do the same thing over here, and uh, I'm I'm going to do Command C from uh, because it it works, and I can and I can copy that over there. So you can copy that information into these uh, new columns. Um, you can also set up your variables. So if you wanted to, if so, I because I clicked the cell over here, you can come over here and and change the variable name. You can give it a description, which is really nice if you are going to be using a number of uh, code type variables here. Um, you can add in the description that this is false, no violation. Um, uh, concrete, and that's what FNVC means in this data set, and you can see that I had to have all of these. Now in Excel, that's not something that you can do, uh, which is which is great, because if you tried to do that in Excel, you'd have to put it in a cell, and if you were going to bring that over to a uh, spreadsheet program like SPSS or Jamovi or something like that, uh, it would read that as a case, and you don't want that to be read as a case. So it's good to know. Um, so I'm gonna uh, so I'm, I, I will save that, of course. But I also uh, let's let's talk about Booklet here because it has some inter more um, more features uh, according to the setup. So. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention is you can change your variable here to nominal, ordinal, or continuous, and this has implications for what kind of analyses that you can do on the exact variable. But with subject, you could also just call it ID, and it will not uh, be a, an available variable for analyses. Um, change it to uh, data type is integer, decimal, or text. So uh, if you want a string variable that it's just like some, uh, it, it, maybe it's a paragraph or a short answer that participants wrote and you want it in the same data file as everything else, you would mark it as text. Uh, if it's a nominal variable and you've coded it with integers, then you would want to choose integers. If it's some sort of continuous variable, then decimal is great. And then any kind of uh, value that you want to put in for missing values, like 99999 or something like that, whatever makes sense for you. And then um, here, specifically for nominal variables, you would want to use this feature, which is the levels. So here, 1... 
the value of 1 is labeled as MT and the value of 2 is labeled as MP because that's the kind of booklets that I have. Those are the uh, modus tollens and modus ponens in case you're, wondering, in case you're curious. Uh, and, and you can even add in more if you want to um, by clicking in retain unused levels in case I would want to, in case I put a 3 in here. Okay, in case I put a three, uh, but no other uh, participant has a three booklet, you know, some random booklet or something like that, if it makes sense. So I would recommend sliding this over just in case you want to put in a level that doesn't appear to be uh, a part of the nominal variable there. So you can uh, so you can use it later if you want to and not have to worry about coming back to setup. So clicking that up arrow closes it. Uh, other features of the program that are generally found in most spreadsheet programs like Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel, computing variables so you can compute uh, formulas. Uh, it has a bunch of standard formulas uh, and, and divided nicely uh, these are the, if you're f coming from SPSS, these are many of the same and in the same categories, which is great. Uh, so you choose the function and then you choose the variables and it can compute something. And what it will do is it will make a new variable for you and it will uh, append it to the end of the column. So if you were to slide all the way over, it would put it in the, uh, in the uh, value that is, uh, the column that is um, uh, free. Okay, so I'm not going to actually do that for this. And then you can transform a variable if you want. Uh, transform variables, uh, you would uh, source, and then you can do some kind of transform. You can create a new transform. Again, this would be a recode. You could recode conditions. So if you need to re reverse code something, you would use this to reverse code. So if it's that, use that or else. There's a little bit of logic in the coding and you can imagine that this is based on the way that you would use transforming in R. This is this is an R uh, coding situation. Okay, so I'm going to close that because I don't need it. And you can you can just transform your variables like that. You can add columns, um, so you can insert uh, columns or append them to the end. You can compute. Uh, by inserting or appending. So if I change this to insert, it would insert it wherever I decided to uh, where my where my the last place my um, uh, uh, cursor was, what whatever ha cell I had uh, most recently highlighted. Oh, there was D actually. So it was it was appending it. Um, for transform, or it was inserting it, not appending it for transform, and um, you can do the same thing for the transform variable. It was it was inserting it as opposed to appending it. So this puts it at the end. This puts it wherever you're to the right of wherever your uh, cursor is. Uh, same thing. Um, we can delete columns rather easily. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these because I don't need them because it's gonna ask me to save them anyways. So when why? Then the last part here is for filtering. So you can add filters in uh, to only get, only to capture what you want. And you can see it says, uh, for example, you can do row one and then just 2% uh, of that row. Uh, again, you can get all of the functions here to add it. Uh, so I only want, you know, booklet 2 for example so I can uh, only get that booklet if I needed to and then you can go through and make sure that everything is good these are row filters okay there and and they put the filter to the very left of the data okay so you'll see a checkbox for who is going to appear based on the filter that you put in. And then same thing with columns, you can insert or append columns and you can, or rows, excuse me, or you can delete rows. And uh, the delete will be wherever your cell is highlighted. So whatever 
um, cell you have highlighted. So this is row 114. If I clicked on delete, delete row 114, OK, or cancel. So this is the superpower of the open source Jamovi if you compare it to the other super, uh, open source powerhouse of JASP. This is this feature of Jamovi. It makes it a beefier program. So if you want something more lightweight, then JASP is your thing. But if you want something that is all encompassing and contains everything, then this is the program for you. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks again for watching. Please leave a like, uh, hit subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials. Bye.